So today, Louise, professional climber uh, extraordinaire. Uh, no, that's it. That's the end of the video. <laughs> Me and Louise, professional climber extraordinaire, are going to be doing four boulders, and we have some rules. We're only allowed to do these boulders with one type of move, and Louise has a, a secret. I've got a little trick up my sleeve, yeah. I reckon. Which I am uh, I'm terrified for, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's gonna be so hard. Snail. No! <laughs> this video is sponsored by Surfshark. All right, then I'm from Scotland. We're up in Scotland today. You're gonna be in Edinburgh. And uh, we're gonna do a figure of four on this campus boulder. I feel like that started off well, right? Um, did not. Uh, yeah, maybe I would have think that if I was there. <laughs> the first boulder we've picked is this blue one. And you may think this blue looks quite juggy, but Louise and I, we are only allowed to go up there with a figure four. If you don't know what a figure four is, you're about to find out. We're going to make this a bit of a competition too. I think whoever does the most boulders in this, the, the, the four moves or four styles that we've got uh, wins one pound. Do you have pounds in Scotland? Is that a thing? We do have pounds do you, in Scotland. Yeah. We actually do like use the something. same currency. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> the higher I get, the more scared I become. This is like, I have to do a leg raise. Ooh. Oh my God. With my long legs, I'm going to look like uh, some sort of freak. <laughs> Come on, Louise. <laughs> Come on, Louise. One oh. move away. Last one. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Beautiful. So today we are in the grand old area of Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Or how do Americans say it? Edinburgh. Edinburgh. And this is the uh, brand new climbing hangout. There's no one else here. Have you listened? A lot of the, the things you're going to see today might look a little silly, but you definitely, it's definitely something that you can use in climbing. What's yeah. the benefit of a figure of four? So the thing that's really good about a figure of four is it means that you can get a lot of vertical height mm. without having to use too much arm strength. Mm -hmm. So typically, I don't really like to pull my arms, which is why if you can just get your leg, yeah. <laughs> get your leg involved on a campus move, it can be really helpful. Oh, oh, you're... <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. Yeah. My legs are... This is exhausting. I know. Oh. Look at your legs in and out. It's sorry. Come on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh, I'm on. dying. Yeah. This is the weirdest thing I've <laughs> ever done. One more, you can do it. <laughs> nice. Yes. Yeah. Figure four to match. The one up, Louise. <laughs> okay, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh my. Good you effort. made that look so much, so much easier. Oh, Jesus. I wasn't expecting a flash of that, to be honest but they're also going to get a lot harder. Yeah. <laughs> we all know that slab climbing is dangerous, but there is something even more terrifying than slab climbing. Snakes. What's even more terrifying than even snakes is surfing the web without a Surfshark VPN, the sponsor of today's video. If you don't know what a VPN is, a VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. Basically, it protects you from having your data stolen. You see all these people around me, they could be stealing my data right now, but they're not because Surfshark are protecting me from slabs as well. Using a Surfshark VPN, you can literally travel around the globe without actually leaving the climbing wall. I use my Surfshark VPN to allow me to watch my favorite shows whilst I'm traveling. And another great thing, if you're worried about it, Surfshark does not store or log any of your activity online, so it's kept private. A VPN encrypts your data whilst you're using public Wi-Fi, which means that you are safe from cyber hackers. I actually almost got hacked the other day and lost uh, all my money. <laughs> but luckily, Surfshark VPN kept me safe. So if you want to get three months free off your Surfshark plan, use my code Josh Rundle, or you go to the link in my description or scan this little code so you can stay safe online. Have you ever Strength. been banned for anything at Climbing Wall? Uh, just nudity. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's probably
probably not not okay for you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, for everyone watching, that's not true at all. Uh, no, I've never been banned. Have you? No. Are you sure? I have. I have had some um, funny looks. Um, I filmed this video at Ratho. Mm. It was a surround sound challenge. Oh, nice. And I ended up putting my harness on backwards and then swinging across the comp wall like like a Flying. like a bird. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, it's on my Instagram. You can have a watch. But <laughs> we are going to give this purple climb a try. But we're not going to use our hands. So we're going to try and do the whole thing, just balancing without like leaning back or anything like that. As you all know, I'm a big fan of slabs. Uh, I'm excellent at them. They are the creme de la creme, the best thing in climbing. <laughs> I can't say anything nice about slabs, they're a joke. All right, so not allowed to touch the wall, Johnny Dawes style. Oh. There goes the flash, one more go. Go on. Oh. I think this is going to be quite hard. Go on, Louise. Ooh, nice. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that was close. Oh. That was good. Ooh, okay. This is a good challenge. This is like beautiful holds I could. <laughs> <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Oh. <laughs> So one of us had to do it. One no. of us had to do it. it you know. Oh. And please, thanks for taking that for the team. That's okay. <laughs> oh, I like it. <laughs> so this type of training is really good for, for well, slabs yep. in competition Makes because sense. there's a lot of moves on slabs, even when you can use your hands, mm -hmm. that you'll have to like put your foot down and then like balance across into yeah. a position. So it's all about um, moving from one body position into another when mm -hmm. you haven't got any hand holds. Mm -hmm. So it's like really applicable for slabs. And then also when you can't use your hands, you're gonna have to think much more about where your body is, where mm. your hips are in relation to your feet. <laughs> I'm Toby Seagull. But you know what, it was actually, oh, it was better. I thought that was gonna work. Yeah, I, I, wow. I, I hit the wall and came off. Yeah. Oh my god, you did it! Come on! Come on, Louis. <laughs> I'm gonna <I'll> fall off. <laughs> This is something that I actually do quite a lot in a session. Is it? So just like picking a boulder mm. and then setting myself some rules on it. Nice. Um, and especially no handed slabs. It's like one I do quite a lot. Yeah, I think it is good to like, because if a boulder is too easy mm. and maybe you don't have a project or that, you know, you just want to work on a weakness, setting a bunch of rules is actually a really good thing to do. Because yeah. then you limit yourself and you learn a bunch of stuff and it's pretty fun. And then when you do it, it's like a new project. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Got it dialed. Come on, Louise. Oh, come on. That was good. Come on, Louise. Oh my god, come on. Oh. Come on. Is that even the hold? Oh. Come on, come on. Oh, that was so close. Oh, nice. That was such a weird move there. The heel toe. I had like, when I did it with just the toe on, I couldn't do it. But when I put my heel and toes on different holds, then I managed to stand up yeah, with you. I've never seen that before. It like locks you in. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So easy. Well done. <sighs> Go on. Oh, go on. Oh, I should have moved that right there. Three, two, one. Oh, oh. Damn. Should have moved the like right yeah. there. Yeah, matching on that one. Oh. We've got a cameo going on. Sean and Coxie, the Olympian, over there. Oh, 
She doesn't normally, that doesn't normally happen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we can get an autograph later. Yeah. <laughs> so when, when you can't do something at the wall, all you have to do is ask your friendly local setter to come and take the holds off that are in your way. Great service here at Great the service. Hangar in yeah. Edinburgh. Yeah. Come on. Nice. It's gonna happen now. Feel it. Nice. Come on, Louise. Oh, so much easier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the green made all the difference. Oh. Nice. But that felt good. Yeah, that was so satisfying. Was it the green then, do you reckon? Was it yeah, feel easier without it? Just the tiny, tiny little bit. Pushing you out, yeah. It like, cause it was right on my hip, pushed mm. my hip out like two centimeters. Yeah. But that kind of shows mm. that on slabs, just like if you can get your hips in two centimeters closer, it could make a big difference. Yeah, yeah. The difference between doing it and not doing it. Yeah. Okay, I have a couple more goes, a couple yeah. more goes. Nice, come on. Yeah. Yeah, really good. Yeah, come on. What the hell did you do this with your feet? So that's, I transitioned onto my left toe. No, no! <laughs> yes, I'm counting it, I don't oh. care. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good effort. I had to do like yeah. four less moves than you did. Boulder free. Yeah. I, this is the one I don't know. I've about. come up with a little idea for you. Okay. So the condition on this one mm -hmm. is going to be that before you touch a hold with your hand, yeah. you've got to touch it with your foot. With my foot. Yeah. So I hope I hope you've stretched. I hope you've done your warming up. <laughs> I'm so um, Are you flexible. flexible. No. Oh. No. We filmed with uh, Jenny last week. Yeah. And which this video will already be out. And she could not stop laughing at my mobility. Like it's horrendous. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna get annihilated. I've picked this purple water for us. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a really good one. I think you might have to do the splits. Can you what? do the splits? <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> cool. Amazing, right? That is the splits. Close enough. This is my front splits. What the? Gee, what the? <laughs> oh my goodness. Touch oh, it. <laughs> That was ridiculous. You just jumped straight into that. Yeah. Did you used to do gymnastics or something? No, I've just always been quite flexible. I used to have this um, party trick at primary school. I wouldn't, don't try this at home, but um, I would like jump off a small flight of stairs, so maybe like the second or third step up into the splits. What? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't try it at home. Oh my days. I, I don't think it's good for your hamstrings. But, no, pro I mean, probably not. But me as a like six year old, I was able to do that. Yeah, go on. <laughs> nice. Oh, you are evil, Louise. What the hell? <laughs> nice. <sighs> Ready? Oh wow, go on. Nice. I feel like I'm in. Yeah. Too easy. Wow. I think you are flexible. I'm scared now. Nice. I feel like I must be like. Uh, yes. I think you've undersold yourself there. That was very impressive. I feel like I'm flexible in like weird ways, but like like this way, yeah. I'm really bad. I think I'm quite bad to get my foot high. 
But at this, you're great. <laughs> I thought that move would be harder for you, that one. Whoa, that was mega. That was full split. <laughs> the last Ooh. one's scary. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. I mean, I don't really know what relevance this has for climbing, mm -hmm. other than flexibility. It's good for like steep stuff like this. Yeah. And then also, I feel like um, when you've got a heel hook mm -hmm. and you've got to put your leg far out and then actually pull with it. Yeah, yeah. By practicing getting your feet above your head and in weird positions, it just increases not just your flexibility, mm -hmm. but like the like range of motion where you can use your strength. So if you wanted to train your mobility, mm -hmm. um, another way that you can do it as well as touching your feet to holds first is by finding a wall uh -huh. um, with bolt holes on it and just practice taking your foot up and touching a bolt hole. And it's also really good for your accuracy. So you can yeah. imagine if you're like reaching to a foothold, you want to be able to pick it, like nice. pick it out with your yeah. toe first go. I'll go for a really high one. What the <laughs> that is insane. All right. Go on. <laughs> oh. Oh. The fourth and final challenge, Louise and I are going to project a black. That black is the hardest uh, grade in the center. Neither of us has done one at the no. hangar. Come on. Nice. Come on, Louise. Oh, that was good. Those holes are sharp. <laughs> that was good. I thought you might actually just squeak that it out. That was good. Then. That was good. I, I think, think it definitely feels possible. Yeah, come on. Nice. Oh, that was close. Thanks. All right, so we are coming to close it. Coming to the end, close to the end, oh, head rush of this video. Um, if you're not following Lee's on Instagram, do that now. And we're at the climbing hangar in Edinburgh, which is brand new. It's open immediately as you're watching this. And there's going to be a discount code in the description for you to get a 50% discount off your first entry into a climbing hangar, not just Edinburgh, anywhere in the UK. And uh, thanks, Surfshark, for sponsoring this video. Okay. And uh, now you're about to watch me destroy. Louise and win this competition as the reigning champion of the new Edinburgh. I mean, uh, King of Scotland. Mm, no, nah, I don't think so. I think I've got this. No. I think I can do this. <laughs> Come on. Nice. Nice. Come on. Come on, Louise. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. <sighs> come on. Yes. <sighs> nice. God damn it. Uh, yay! <laughs> Mega! Oh. I think Louise. First black ever. Nice. Take that. Cheers. I think, uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> You can still tie. I can still tie, but I, I, have, to do, I have to do it this go. Yeah. Go on, Josh. No! <laughs> How does it feel to be a loser? Loser! <laughs> oh. Sorry, can we pretend that didn't happen? No. Okay. <laughs>